Angelina, I was so emotional reading this story. Was there one scene for you that you found the strength that, that gave Louis Zamperini the, the ability to get through his life? The scene that gave him the strength, funny enough, is not one of the big scenes. It's more his relationship with his brother, Pete. His brother was the one, and I think if we all had a Pete in our lives, our, our lives would be very different. You know, you, you just need that one person to tell you you're, you're okay and you're better than what you think you are and you can, you can do it. Um, so the little boys, you see, that, you see that in the little boys. And then you see that, I think, manifest as he remembers his brother's words in his life and, and uh, continues to get back up. It's such a harrowing story. Um, how do you balance that, the need to tell the story as honestly as you, as you can, with the fact that it's a, if you're in Hollywood and you have a, a movie to make? Well, sometimes you have to uh, adjust a movie to, to be entertaining. This one, you, you did not have to uh, create anything. His, his actual life story is, is one that is ripe for a film. It's, it's how, how, how could you find anything more cinematic than everything from the Olympics to the sharks and rafts in the ocean to the prison camps and the jungles of Kwajalein and the 1936, you know, it's just the stadiums. It's, it's all such a big, stunning uh, adventure uh, really at the core at the core of it is this heart but but his life was extraordinary and how much do you think came from his strength came from him being a runner I think he learned about endurance and and um, what's beautiful about Louis again why he's relatable is it's not that he he didn't win at the Olympics he just didn't give up and he didn't go last and he pushed to have a fast final lap and that is what's beautiful about, about his story, is that it's, um, it's the fight, it's not the win, it's the fight. The remarkable act of forgiveness that's in his life, within his story, uh, do you think that we're all capable of that, or is it only a certain amount? I mean, look at Nelson Mandela in South Africa, the ultimate act of forgiveness there, but do you think that we're all capable of that, or it's just a few? For me, personally, I think it, it comes hand in hand with justice. I think it's very hard to expect somebody to simply uh, decide that what uh, w the crimes committed against them is something they should just forget, and I think it doesn't doesn't lend well for for the future. I think we have to um, we have to be able to acknowledge what happened. I know in South Africa it wasn't necessarily, but it was the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. So something acknowledged uh, the the change in the times. Um, so I, I believe I believe in that. I also think it's a survival tool. I think when you continue to be full of the hate um, and the anger and the revenge, um, it, it doesn't hurt your enemy. Very often, it, it only destroys your life. And so when you know that just as a survivalist, um, and I think Louis was the ultimate survivalist, uh, from a Boy Scout to uh, his time at sea, he, uh, he knew that he had to find a way to rise above and, and be, a, be a great dad and be a great husband and be a great man, and he was gonna have to he was going to have to let go of his anger.